Look, look, look. Munchkin's playing cards. In the mood to lighten Geralt's purse? Geralt won't mind. He's wild about cards. Perhaps you'd care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, Midget. No need for insults. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true? You wouldn't have called him a midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. <laughs> I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. You lose, Witcher. Hand over the wager. Everything. Um. Perhaps we could reach an arrangement? Oh, weaseling out of this. Hand over the coin! What do we do now? Feel good, losing somebody else's coin? I meant to win, give you the coin! I've no need for it in the grave. But you lost, so now I've got to pay up. I say, he talking to himself. Roaring drunk already, that's it. We can't fleece a drunk. Have him done the cup and we'll call it even. Just a minute. Bloke needs a lesson. I say he dons the cap and gives us 5% of the coin he has. Hear that? Agreed. 5% is yours, and I shall wear the cap. Never fear. A man must do what a man must do, and Vladimir von Everek's a man among men. Hear that? So sloshed he thinks he's Vladimir von Everek. Rogue's long dead bomb, I reckoning. Exactly. Those ears. You look, uh, interesting. Time to drink! We are at a wedding. Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. <laughs> I think you look charming. Quite the lark, this Gwent. Onward. Next diversion. Do you need help? Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a true fire eater. You know, woo scope, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. <laughs> Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. But I'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers. But we'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers as gone as last Yule's pudding. Groom's hound chased him off. A blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witcher's here now. Perhaps he can aid us. How? Oh, the man's got ass he is. He should first seek to help himself. Such he is might be high fashion in his part. Oh, I doubt that. Before I can begin my witcherly investigation, I require guidance, clues. Tell me all you know, everything. Well, the fire eater arrived around noon. It is fill of food, not fire. They went for a stroll to air some gases, he said. That horrid demon saw him and started barking like a thing possessed. Why so? Haven't a clue. Didn't like the man. Sent something awry. 
perhaps at the man swallowed fire. Animals fear fire. If I feared, it would have fled, not given chase. Damn fool dog. How can you know? But it snapped its chain and chased the fire eater into the woods. Foolish or not, it's our son-in-law's beloved pet. There'll be hell to pay if it goes missing. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I, will find this swallower of heated things. Oh, mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The Flame Gulper, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you, and hope for the best. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher, Vladimir. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe in you. Tally-ho. Adventure awaits. Down no. towards chain off the wall. Underfed, it seems. Or else the ash liquor really boiled the mutt's blood. A bone nod so clean, I've only ever seen two like this. One in an anthill, the other when I caught a hen after not eating for a week. Its bowl is chipped. Tried to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. Look! Look! A dog made these tracks true, but a small one. Yet judging by its house, Demon is a hulk, but beggars can't choose their tracks. So I shall follow these. Following some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground, that sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Roll over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun! Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. I say, cracking good mead. 
Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead? True. Boar was fleeing a noun. Hound? Boar, it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. Those are excellent ears. Might try a pair like that. Just not sure they'd fit under my cap. You're a man whose trade is literally to play with fire. How can you fear a tiny runt of a dog? Was a monster! A demon! So you said. You're a stoneless coward, sir. That's that. Oh, beg your pardon. I'm not a coward. I'm cautious. Know what would become of a fiery who paid no heed to caution? Hmm, I suppose he might singe his tongue. Guessed it. So it was that misunderstanding. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. Can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. This may be my only chance to ask. Your fire-guzzling trickery. How does it work? Oh, they toss me out the guild if I told. Except if I took you all as an apprentice. In half a year's time, you'd learn. I haven't half a year. Come, just between you and me. We've drunk together. We're practically brothers. Drank it all yourself. You're no brother of mine. You dare toy with me this way? Very well. Refuse to tell me, and I shall leave you here as a morsel for any passing boars, bears, or bloodthirsty fawns. So choose wisely. This here's a soul. He's suppressing the arts. Out with it. I got, I got a special mixture I drink before every show. After that, I can eat fire, spit fire, do what I please. It don't burn nothing. Is that all? Where's the art in it? Any dribbling imbecile can smear his throat with a protective slurry. Oh, have just about enough of this. First they release the hounds, then come and steal my meat, and now insults! I'm done here. Goodbye! Didn't mean to offend the bloody charlatan. Do something. Do what you want. Not about to beg you to stay. But the scamp's already been paid! Not my problem. Aha. Uh -huh. Then know this. I leave now. I've never seen such behavior. This is overt lack of respect for the arts. You stupid, honorless pricklicker! No sense raging about it. Back to the wedding. Let's go. Coming or not? I'm coming. I'm coming. To the wedding, then. Perhaps I'll find some more interesting diversions there. Seems there shall be no tricks. We must inform the bride's mother the magician turned coward. I found your fire belcher, and I fear he proved a common coward. What's his bravery to me? I paid him to eat fire. He need do just that. Sadly, he's not only a coward, but a cheat as well. As soon as I found him, he lifted his skirt and ran. And I went to such expense. What's with Demon? He failed to return? No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. The dog's small beer. No fire eating, that's the grief. Ah, grief. No show. Oh, no. What can we do? Hmm. I can't help but wonder. Must it be a fire eater who performs? What if, instead, there was... Oh, I don't know. A juggler? Just where would we find a juggler at this hour? But say you did. Would that do as a replacement for the fire sniffler? Well, I suppose it might. Then I shall perform. You? 
first I've heard of a juggling witcher. Today I'm no ordinary witcher. In my youth I had a great many friends among circus folk. They taught me well. I shall gladly save you from your troubles. Well, if, if that's the case, I'll, I'll announce the performance. <laughs> <laughs> 